Hello guys and welcome to a quick add-on showcase. So apparently this is cr Trap Craft. It's basically an add-on about traps. And basically, it, I'm planning on, on making brand new mob battle series. Like, technically an improvement to the mob battles. And yeah, the first one will appear tomorrow. And the, the challengers will be the mutant zombie up against the mutant skeleton. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, so now to test out the spikes. So yeah, it does that. So apparently if the mutant zombie or mutant skeleton would run into that, they may take some damage. Only one though, I think. I'll test it out myself eventually. So um, yeah, I'm just using the villager first since it, it, he's a good example. Like, did, did you have to run in there to torture me? So um, yeah, that, that's what the fake grass does. I did not mean to spawn you in. And I'm kind of surprised that does not suck you in. I did not mean to put you in. Die. You, you, wh why did you appear? So, yeah, I'm actually surprised the Ravager would not fit. So, th th yeah, see? Yeah. And this here is... um. Don't go on the other traps. So, yeah, that burns you. This does nothing at the moment, or this. Okay, so this is pretty special. Like, look at this. Go on the other one to die. Yeah, I need to replace it. So, yeah, this basically slows him down so that he barely can run away. And this gives him fall damage. <laughs> I would move out of there. How are you? Probably just you're probably gonna die anyways. So um, yeah, the Ravager could prop actually survive all of these, I think. Oh my god, right. he's actually attacking the spikes. What kind of stuff is this? Stop destroying the freaking spikes. I hope they kill you. Don't destroy the setup. You're destroying everything. Stop destroying everything! You're such a jackass! Oh my goodness, you're, you're really an asshole. Oh, oh, he just went on the poison one and died. Oh my goodness. He just went on the poison one and died. So yeah, apparently... So yeah, let me fix that and that. Hey, no. So yeah, let me fix this poison spike. So yeah, you've already seen one kill a ravager. And apparently for this, apparently I'm surprised. It doesn't kill the ravager. So um yeah. Step on step on more blocks. Step on that even more. So you can die. Oh my god, he just won't die. So yeah, he can basically survive all these traps. Um well probably the fake grass may be the only one to kill him. Come on, come on. D don't be a coward. Just go in there, okay, you know? L let me help you. Um, oh shit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the crafting the fake grass is pretty simple. And the Ravager against the Igniters. Yeah, it basically sets him on fire. So, um, yeah. And yeah. Apparently, since the. Since, um. The mean zombie and mean skeleton. Apparently, this apparently can poison them, and if they step on this, they, they could accidentally go into a cobweb and be stuck unless they jump out. And, this, and since the mean zombie's greatest weakness is fire, he's gonna have to be careful. But this, it does nothing. But but this does something. Definitely something. So this does nothing at the moment. Okay, let let's see. Oh, okay then. That just does a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, Jesus, how strong is this thing? I feel like if the mutants step on this and they only have like a couple, only like... Bro, don't, don't step on that yet. My goodness, you spoil everything. You spoil everything. In fact, why don't, you, why don't I even get a mutant zombie here to test all these traps to just see? Well, no, actually, you see them in the battle, but there's a chance they may step on it. There's a chance. There's there's just a one percent chance. If he steps on it, any of the mutants, then they're completely done for. 
especially if they're in their last stage. Well, since they... Stop! Okay, so this... Okay, so now, um... Let me pause. So, yeah. Now, um... Okay, you are way faster. But, of course, now they're way faster. It does not last forever, but it can be annoying during PvP. And it could hurt the mutant zombie and the mutant skeleton. And since they can take fall damage, the fan will be very useful. And I, I think I may have to be fair and, like, only put, like, three igniters... I may have to only like put three igniters because what if the mutant zombie steps on it like an idiot? Uh, the Ravager did not take too much damage. Now, if you're wondering how would a player do well against this, let's see if it can even survive in the first place. Let's see if I can even survive. How long would it take for it to kill me without armor? So apparently, you can use this method, but credit me for making up this idea. This is Trapcraft. It's kind of an old add-on. Now, let me see. Oh my goodness, it does good damage. It does like three hearts. Well, then that's something. Let's see. Poison, of course. Of course, it's better. But of course. Okay, I was slain by that. And this, let me try to survive it. Oh my goodness, I actually managed to survive! Wait, oh, yeah, that, that's the result of you messing with that. So, um, let, me, let me put it back in order. That, that's what it does. Now I have to clean it. Or else, um, apparently the other traps could be. And look, nothing. Nothing at the moment. And this, um, could kill you easily. Yup. Oh my god, what? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Did they break easily? No, they don't. Okay, then. So, this is the thruster. So, it do it only gives you slowness 3. That's barely anything. Now, about this. How much damage does it do to a player? Oh my god, there's barely any. So, this, this could barely hurt the mutants. But, of course, if this hits the mutants... So, apparently, what would happen to the mutant zombies? So, let me explain what, the, what, what would happen to each mutant. If they okay so the spikes they'll just take damage and possibly um they may miss on their attacks and their minions could get hurt probably their minions will not get hurt by this but they could get hurt more and this they'll basically fall into cobweb making them slower and then the uh, opponent um gets the advantage and can hit them it, now the mean skeleton it just does like one damage but the mean zombie it will do like five to him this does nothing so i'm not gonna put any same with this now this is the most deadliest one, I think. Now it does immense damage, as you remember. It takes like two to kill a mob. A village, in fact. That's how deadly it is. God, this is very strong. And I do not remember placing that extra one. I, I never, wait. What? Yeah. This could damage them immensely, and this could slow them down, giving the mob an advantage. And this could fall make the 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 mobs take fall damage. So yeah, I'm no longer gonna do the old mutant battles. I'm basically gonna do it popular animal style, but with using craft trap craft. And yeah, I don't have to waste as much ideas as before because that would be so annoying. So um, yeah, that's it for today guys, and um, bye, see you tomorrow, and for the first mob battle.